Hello, uglies, and welcome back to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion, I'm Alexis P. Bevels. I'm Auntie Boulay. Where's this one? Dar- The one. Darby? Where is she? Darbalintra. Oh, I'm right here. Sorry, it's still Hello. getting ready. Oh. Spooky. Oh. Spooky. <laughs> I'm a ghost. <laughs> Jasmine Ooh. Masters Christmas special, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Okay, I have to be honest with y'all. I forgot we were doing this today, so I don't have makeup on. But I do have this reusable vegetable mm. bag because I do believe in robbing the earth of its riches, but safely. Ooh, we're protection. So I'm a ghost. I'm supposed to be a vampire. I'm a witch. Yeah. <gasps> so see, we followed the thing. Yeah, because we are here today to discuss Dragula Resurrection. Oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to be honest with you. I'm so sorry. I have to take this off. I can't. I can't breathe. So you know, like anti-maskers, they say that they can't breathe because they're breathing in too much CO2. Mm -hmm. That's what. That's what's happening to me. And I also, I don't feel free anymore. I don't have freedom. Okay, take it off. It's suffocating you through that mesh layer. Darbo. Wait a minute. You got a little haircut. Uh, Thank bow, you. I did get a haircut. Bow. I didn't do my hair today. I should have done. It. Here. Let's just see. This is what your hair looks like at my age. What no, you look like with Halloween you in the trade. What are you gonna do? Oh, I mean, please do. My, I'll be much nicer in general. Ooh, someone been to sex therapy. <laughs> a good one to say. She had a lot to say. Oh. <laughs> What's this cauldron doing in front of us? Yeah, what do we have here? What's going on? Well, I thought like I, you know we can't trick or treat due to you know children are kidnapped. Or no wait, COVID. COVID. Both. Both. I just thought we could have a little candy. Now, remember miser Misericordia. What is it? Misophonia? Misophonia? What is it? Misophonia. Zymphomania. Yeah. 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 So we won't <laughs> eat a lot, but we might have some. We'll do a warning if we partake. Yeah, we'll do yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Treat, yes, yes, treater yes. warnings. Trick or treater warnings. But I'm going to get into these. I'm going to get into these. Okay, trigger warning. Trigger happening. warning. ASMR, ready? You can't hold me back from the nut. Do you know what I like to do? Remember movie theaters? I liked mm -hmm. to do, well, the M&M's if I couldn't, or chocolate covered raisins in the popcorn. Chocolate covered Ooh. raisins in the popcorn. Because I like mm. a sweet and salty together mm -hmm. at the same time. It's like Ooh. a trail mix of its own kind. If you had to pick one or the other, what would it be? Salty or sweet? Salty. Salty. Hashtag team salt. Yeah. Oh. Team salt. But it's not a thing, it's not a thing, I think the doctor, it's not a thing how like kids, like you develop the sweetness and you don't like certain tastes until later in life. Did I make that up? Here's what it is. Hey Siri. No, no, no. Medical school. Oh. I'll tell you, I went to medical school. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you are a homosexual, you are too sweet inwardly and your insides are sweet enough. Mm -hmm. You have to eat salty to kind of even out your levels. Mm. Yeah. Didn't you drink a bottle of wine this morning at 10 a.m.? She's the witch doctor. Oh, yeah, that's true. You she don't question the doctor's know, you practices. Don't, you don't. Yeah. Okay. I saw Coven. <laughs> I got a COVID test. Yes. And it came back negative. Good. Yes. It was very quick. It was free. Yeah, I walked and I are going in a couple days. I think it's important. Mm -hmm. It's important to go. Uh, to go. It's everywhere. Especially because things are starting to open back up. We're starting to do more. Well, we were starting to do. We were starting to do more in-person gigs. And then besides that, also, yeah, I did. Get, I had a gig on Zoom this morning, and I got. I had to drink a bottle of wine. Hmm. I got a FaceTime video call, which I don't often get. Because our generation, we don't do that unless we're at hospitals. I got this like FaceTime video call from her at like noon. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what the fuck? Is she okay? Like, I honestly thought it was a cop going like, is this your friend? And they show me the <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I've been waiting for that call. <laughs> that's, that's the ultimate mm -hmm. FaceTime. She was like, hi. And I was like, have you been drinking? And I forgot you had that gig. It's okay to drink. I had a Zoom bingo gig that was so fun and yeah. we drank. Yeah. How was your mm. week? Mm. I guess the highlight from it was a visit at Chinatown at night. Ooh, oh, it's we lovely. have a beautiful Chinatown. We don't do. We? When yeah. it's raining, and you know how Chinatowns they have the neon lights oh and the goodness. gaze, and it was just picturesque. You wouldn't believe it. Lovely. Picturesque. Yeah. Had some dumplings. Enjoyed some ice cream. It was a nice little oh, I love ice cream. escape. 
Yeah, you know, and it's nice to walk around. That's one thing you can do mm. in a pandemic. Walk True. around. Chicago's a great city to walk around in, too. Absolutely. There's so much to do in Chicago. Yeah, so much COVID. I saw this on Twitter, and I'm going to ask y'all. I'm going to pose this question to y'all. Sure. What's the longest walk you've ever done in Chicago? Mm. Have you ever just, like, walked a long time? Hmm. Yeah. I used to live in the South Loop, and then I moved up to, like, Belmont area, and one time I just, like, walked from my house to the South Loop and then back. It took, like, four hours. Ooh. It was fun. Nice. It was a nice Walk day. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Lake, you know, went in through the city and went down through the lakefront. It was beautiful. When I went to school in the Loop, I would, on occasion, on a really nice day, walk from the Loop to Lakeview. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. When I was a teacher in Lincoln Park and I lived in Uptown, a lot of times, like, because, you know, in the cities, we don't have school buses. We only have school buses for, like, elementary school kids and kids with special needs. But, like, I worked at a high school. So the trains and the city buses were just filled with kids. Mm -hmm. So if it was a nice day, I would just say, screw it. And I would walk. And it'd be, like, an hour and 15-minute walk. But, like, after a long day stuck inside with kids, it was nice to be out in the world and realize that, like, other people are still alive and this hell that you're living in won't be forever. Mm -hmm. And that's a good reason to get out this week and walk. To the polls. Oh, walk to the polls. To the polls. As long as you're in line, they can't tell you to go home. That's true. Pack a chair, pack some snacks, but you know charge your phone. But you know who can tell you to go home is you. And you're you're an idiot. Don't listen Don't to you. Don't go home. As long as our president is doing lines, you must be in lines to vote. Don't you think it's crazy that like there are people in the world who have done so much coke and they eat McDonald's for breakfast and they're they're like mm -hmm. fine like the president I really thought he Alexis, was going to be taken by the by the coronavirus I because I thought you? he was in poor health I Prayer. was like yeah, I think that was a ploy to get people away from his taxes <gasps> Okay, oh, now I don't want to get demonetized because you know what happens when we start spreading conspiracy theories. You know what happens? Demonetized. Mm -hmm. You make an ass out of Liberal you know left. Mean. Let's talk about Dragula, right? Let's talk about Dragula. Let's talk Woo! about the special we've been waiting on. The Boule brothers are back. Trigger warning. So excited. Dragula was one of my favorite IMHO things we've ever done. Because mm -hmm. Drag Race, we've, I feel like we've done 30 of those. Mm -hmm. Dragula was a special moment in time. It was a breath mm -hmm. of fresh. And you're not really a horror fan. Mm -mm. So it was it was fun to watch you kind of get into it from a perspective of, I don't like horror. You yeah. don't really like filth either. I like filth in certain aspects. Like, mm -hmm. if I'm watching Annie, for instance, I don't want those little girls to be clean. I don't understand that. That doesn't read true to me. I want them to be filthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But everyday life, no. It is the moment in IMHO history where we learned for the first time yes. that Chan does impressions. <gasps> uh, and that, that changed the scope. I'm a songbird. Mm -hmm. I've come to terms with it. I'm yeah. a canary. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm a chameleon. Mm -hmm. I listen, I absorb. I take it in and then I spit it back at you. Glamour! <laughs> Filth! Horror. Oh, <laughs> uh, I want that as a ringtone. And I want ringtones to come back. <laughs> I want that as my wake up call in the morning, but I want it to start with horror. Because you know how sometimes your wake alarm goes and yeah. gets louder? <laughs> mm -hmm. You just be like, horror. Filth! <laughs> After you snooze it head. three times. Glamour! <laughs> oh, let me get out of bed. Speaking of glamour, the boules really uh, look Stunning. better and better. I mean, they a always looked great, but stunning. just the polish, the this. aesthetic, those faces are flawless. Smooth. I want that. Well, I think they have like flawless faces in everyday life. Like they're mm. LA gays, so I'm sure I guess. I'm sure they chemically <gasps> peel themselves. This right, is the right. money. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was just fun because we get so... <sighs> I don't want to say bogged down, but sure, bogged down mm -hmm. with Drag Race, that it was nice to like revisit kind of a fun, different thing. Well, it's just so much Drag Race, and as with everything, you know, too many cooks, too much chocolate, you get tummy ache. You still like chocolate, you still eat it. Mm hmm. But, but then you have that Sour Patch Kid, and you're like, ooh. Yeah. yeah. I do like candy. Yeah, I That's do like candy. That's actually a really good description. Dragula is the Sour Patch Kids of drag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? They're a oh, they scary, are. They're scary, but they're kind of sweet Sour, once you get to sweet. the middle of them. Yeah. And, and you probably will find one of them, you know, in your car seat. I wouldn't be surprised to find a boule stuck in my, the little one stuck in my car seat. <laughs> <laughs> they looked gorge. Of yes. course, the, the series starts out with a another they love a long scene that yeah. is a note they did not get from us the last 
last time we did a Dragula review. <laughs> I did want them to go ahead and murder the hot guys. We get it. We knew where it was going. Yes. But it was so fun to watch them take that journey. Yeah. They have access to the LA gays. Mm -hmm. And they put them to work. Yeah. Was it the big one up in the mm -hmm. in the desk with all the pictures of old? We saw, I think we saw Louisiana Purchase. We saw the other ones. Mm -hmm. well, and they, they with wear, the knives through everything. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Well, they wear those like white contacts. So you can't really like see their eyes. Mm -hmm. But to me, it just makes it look like they can't see. And so she was looking off at the pictures. And it was like this kind of sweeping shot. And she's supposed to look like she's really contemplating but I didn't know the pictures were there yet mm -hmm. so I thought she was trying to look at the camera and she was just over here going <laughs> I was like, already off to a rocking start. I don't know cute. if this is true. We'll see in season four, but I think I'm starting to come back around to thinking the long scenes are kind of funny. Like sure. kind of camp. Like, I, like, okay, I got five minutes. Let's see what they do. Mm -hmm. I like the scenes. I like that they have like the budget of Amazon money now because it's on Shutter through Amazon. Yes. So now that they can... Is Shutter owned by Amazon? I think so. It's through Amazon, yeah. I believe. Yeah. It's like an Amazon channel. View local. View local. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did do the free trial and I do have to cancel it. Cause oh I, yeah. I, I, ha I have it because I like idea. scary. Do you like scary? Are you a scary person? Mm. Yeah. So. Mm. I don't hate it. It just doesn't do much for me. The only thing that scares me is old episodes of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Because <gasps> I just don't like when kids go that dark. Mm. See, when you live alone and you, you think of those things. Oh, and you, you live on the like the first floor. Like you're very easily accessible by burglars. Yes. Hey. And then you see like the, the black cat just dart across the, yeah. the ground. You're just like, do I have a black cat? Oh, yes, I do. Who's there? Do you ever get creeped out by your own pet? One time she did wake me up with her hands on my neck <laughs> or her paws. She was like, hi, Kiki. Did you feel Good at morning. peace? Like, were you ready? Um, <laughs> you have unfinished business. I have to talk yeah. to her when I get home. Yeah, you do. Because I never unboxed that. Well, we have a lot to go through because mm -hmm. there were three looks to do. There were seven girls, right? Mm -hmm. Seven girls. Three looks, two boulets, one $20,000 prize. And if they win, they get to be on season four. Yes, mm. and four, four, four seasons, seasons. Kind of the outline, if you didn't watch it because you're not ready to make the commitment of Shudder, I understand. They would go through and each person would kind of describe what they were working on and we'd get to know a little bit more about each person and what they've been up to. There'd be like two people during the witch, three people yeah. during the ghost. So if y'all are okay with it, I would love to just go through the floor show and mm -hmm. if they did get a little extra time in that section, mm -hmm. if oh, there was fabulous. something interesting. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool? Yeah. Let's yeah. talk about like it. That. Let's have that conversation. And, <coughs> excuse me, not COVID. Instead of all of the contestants coming to LA to the Boulets, the Boulets sent a skeleton crew, skeleton, oh, yeah, to each place. So not only did we get to see the performers, we got to see their process, and we got to see where they lived, which I thought was fabulous. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, a great I, solution. I loved it, and just so so perfect for this moment that we're all in, mm -hmm. where we have to stay home and create on the fly with what we have. I love seeing them being in their creative hobbit spaces where they are their natural selves. Yes. They are excited to be doing drag. It's fun to see everyone's kind of different workspaces and how they have configured it for them. Because I feel like even if you haven't been doing drag that long, you've probably redone your drag room a mm -hmm. hundred times. Like I just redid mine again and I've been doing drag since the nineties. Mm. Yeah. What do we call it? The long room, the, the long table room in their boudoir? They oh, called it the boudoir. Mm -hmm. I think you called it long that table long room. Table room. I don't know, but that sounds funny to me. <laughs> it was an adjective and a noun. Mm -hmm. So the first one was witch. Obviously, they all went for something <gasps> very Alexis. Only one of them got kind of close. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go through what fandom. Thank you, fandom. What we they have in order. We should write to them and write little... to them. Yeah. Dear yeah. fandom, <laughs> I hope the day's weather finds you <laughs> in the Lord's grace. Thanks for the screenshots. <laughs> we'll just start here with Dolly. <gasps> Dolly is from season two. Mm -hmm. A little fun fact we learned in this section, Dolly and Saint have traded nudes and Saint said that they were very pleased with what they received. Let's go ahead and get this out pretty of the way. Pretty weenie. Let's <laughs> Halloween -y, pretty Halloween -y. weenie. Pretty weenie. Can we go ahead and get this out of the way? Yes. For our H word fans. Dolly and Saint can get it. I would love to see those transcripts if they ever become public, consensually, oh. of course. Mm -hmm. Dolly, uh, Dolly, come here. Get, just Dolly looks Saint. Good. Come here. I'd like just, just for Saint a science, for a good. second. Saint? Oh, I mean, all of Damn. them. 
like, did, okay, Saint looked older. Like, Saint looked like I was ready to get on that ride, right? Like, Can so much older, older than her original season, like, she but really like, grew into good, herself. Like, good. Which I think is something she shares throughout the special, is that mm -hmm. she feels like she's kind of come out of her cocoon. I just wanted to get horny out of the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Her witch was a desert witch because oh. she lives in Arizona and that is not a thing to be ashamed of. It's just not something to be proud of. She really spent most of her time building this headpiece. So she had kind of the, <gasps> her skin tone was kind of coming off. Textured. Like yeah. textured, textured, like cracked, flaky. It was incredible. It was. That was prosthetic too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she made this amazing kind of natural crown thing. But I agree with what the belay said. From here up, stunning. But kind of just the rags didn't... It was almost like an afterthought. Mm -hmm. But I mean, still, she looks stunning. Mm -hmm. That headpiece, everything. Yeah. And the performance of like being in the desert in with the that sand. one single light, I loved that. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that Dragula really soars above and beyond any other drag competition. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I can't want a kiki. Is this the performance aspect of them showing their look? Yeah. And sometimes mm -hmm. they'll get into their techniques, like how I made this face, how I built. I would have liked to see, this is not a critique to Dolly, but to uh, maybe some drag race shows. Like, go, get into the technique a little bit. I do want to see you mm -hmm. get into that process, but I know every cook yeah. doesn't have to share their recipe. Yeah, that's true. But Although that is what makes some show, like Project One Way, for instance, yeah. so successful. Project that's why one project, pro, project, 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 project One Way. That's what makes it so compelling is seeing how they're doing it yeah, Agreed. I agree. Agreed. I agree. I like it. The belays put it really well. They said this this isn't I mean it is a competition, yes, but they're already stars. So yeah. this is more of just kind of showcasing really talented And drag. that's what these shows should be. Yeah. I love it. I loved it when they said, you know, I don't feel like it's fair for us to judge these looks. But it's we'll for a do showcase. It. But they did it anyways, but if you stop it right there, if you kinda of old yeller well, it but that's like and a... stop it right after the um you the know shot. Huh? So any kind of critique we have, it's just silly based on like one thing that we've seen. But oh, honestly, everyone was so great. So I, I think we can so say that. We don't have any right to be judging anybody. Yeah. No. We're not judges. I mean, my, this drag We're viewers great, of TV so. and we do what viewers of TV I, do. I do want to say, I don't want to blow smoke up your ass. You look really cute right now. Like you look like a yeah. cartoon character. Like somebody drew a cartoon adorable. character. Drew a cartoon character. Drew. Okay. That's their boy. Hi. I don't read Harry Potter anymore. Can I get a new book to love? No, you look I'm like a young. Bottom. Oh, what? Like younger, like Shel Silverstein oh. character. Hi, where does the sidewalk end? You got a book about that? I'm a bottom. Is that right? Someone out there probably Beautiful. loved that. I'm sure. <laughs> Frankie Doom, who lives in West Covina. Oh yes, from the yes, a crazy ex-girlfriend. So she did the witches, the original witches, the Angelica Houston witch. Mm -hmm. That movie scared me so bad. Well, it's out so now. Bad. The new movie. The new one. I haven't watched on it yet. Amazon Prime. I haven't either. Or HBO Max. HBO Max. And it's apparently it's it's more true to Raoul Dahl's kind of book. Racist. Is, well, I, it's mm -hmm. cuter. That's what do, you, what do we think patients. of Anne Hathaway? Let's talk about just real quick, Anne Hathaway. I've gone back and forth with Anne Hathaway. Same, same. I have gone with the people where the people that were saying, why do we, Anne Hathaway's annoying. And then I was <gasps> like, wait a minute, is she annoying or is she just a woman trying to do her best? I think you know what all... I mean? Did we judge too harshly? Mm, no, we because she slayed were... me at Thermopolis. She slayed, oh, yeah. me slayed me at Thermopolis. Well, she slayed me at Thermopolis, but then after that, everyone was like, this hack. This hack really only became this hack when Les Mis became a big thing. She was really getting praise for her work. Because remember when she was Brokeback Mountain? We oh, didn't yeah. have a problem with that. We were like, oh, look at her trying something new. It was only when she was like really succeeding and she was gonna win an Oscar that people were really like, she's too excited about this. Yeah, she's about to win an Oscar. Fuck up. I wanna say this, loved her Catwoman. Huh. I'm just gonna leave that right in here. In there. Well, don't really put that candy. in there. Put Let's that over here. That, yeah. Sorry, here the trash is. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie Doom, the prosthetic, bumpily, boobly, yeah. with the big nose. Oh. Works it. Um, works it. Six Low flags. Haunted house. No, 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 no. Place. It's the the uh, Trump's, Shrewsbury Farms. No, no, no. It's the famous scary place in California. Well, you talking about West yeah, Hollywood? I wrote that she works at an amusement park as a scary person. Is that not right? 
Yes, she does, but it's a it's like a huge place to go. It's like a huge tourism thing. But is she thing. scary? Yeah, she's a is scarer. It a she's a she scare loves actor. it. Is it an yeah. amusement park? Mm -hmm. well, I'm not, so I'm not passing happens? judgment on that. I'm trying to remember the name, and I want you to put respect on it because it's not like, it's not like, um... Okay. okay. Respect. Uh-uh-uh. Put that candy bag down with respect. Right. Yeah. Thank there you for you your service. What is it called? What did we think of her look? Knott's Berry Farm. Knott's Berry Farm. Knott's Berry. Good prosthetic. Mm-hmm. Cape, lots of fabric. The cartoony blue and red. Blue eyeshadow, red lip. She yeah. had a mask revealed into- uh, This mm -hmm. was, this is what I, what I agreed with the boules. They said that they revealed too quickly. But overall, she looked great. She looked great. That? She looked great. She looked we great. We can't say that. Cosplay is valid. Fuck yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah, true. fuck Michelle. Yes. No, I didn't mean to say that. Cut that. <gasps> Kendra Onyx. Now Kendra was a star for this entire special mm -hmm. for me. Mm. Anytime they cut back to her, I was like, what is gonna she like, was what so is happening next? Bubbly. Love she her. was the queen of the key. You know what I mean? Queen yeah, she's queen key. of the key. In the dressing room talking to you, ha ha girl, what's the thing? This that <gasps> loved her energy. Yeah. She Positive. is from season two. And I'm sorry, Frankie was season one. She is from season two. She's an African witch. The voodoo. I thought the headpiece was really cute. I thought that her performance was really well done as well. Yeah, she was probably the strongest performer. Yes, overall. Which is what they said, yeah. Yeah, and they did say that later. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I agree about the performance. I think she had a very similar thing with Dolly. You know, Dolly's Desert Witch, mm -hmm. where the neck up was awesome, and then the kind of rags to, like, just kind of cloth wrapped around you. Mm -hmm. Like, from the head up, it's like, oh, wow, that's, like, a lot of intricate, a lot of thought. Mm -hmm. And then the rest was just kind of wrapped around you. I love yeah. that they have access to the cinema, the cinematics, mm -hmm. because the way that this was shot, she was dancing in front of a fire. This is a scene straight out of American Horror Story. Yeah, where but they like, have the budget yeah. to do but something like, early like that. American You know what I mean? Story, or Ghost in the Darkness. Remember that movie? Or Ghost in the Darkness. I don't know. Val Kilmer. It's about a lion eating everybody in the, I think, Serengeti. Remember that? Who's seen it? Val Kilmer, you watching? Hmm. Let's get into the next look. Loris. Loris is specializing in latex now, which mm -hmm. I never thought about until Loris explained. Yeah, it is a very hard material to work with. Mm -hmm. It would be. They did kind of a more standard, like, witch. Wicked Witch, like, just kind of standard. But that hat. Hello. Oh, wait, no. Was that this category? Yes. Yeah. The hat. Crazy. The silhouette. Crazy. The detailing in the, in the bodice. From a maker's point, incredible. I did have, uh, like, when she when I initially saw her, my eyes immediately went to her beautiful paint. And I did have a bit of a moment of like, oh, she took this very literally, she's pretty, and she's wearing all black and a black witch hat, okay. But then once you close up, I mean, and of course she had like a head and an arm coming out of her back, mm -hmm. but you do see, like just how intricate and how beautiful the gloves and like the little, I don't even know. It was just so good. Yeah. Her description of her witch was that it was inspired by her mom because her mom is Wiccan. Mm -hmm. And so her mom had kind of introduced her to that art, religion. What's Wiccan? Wiccan is a religion, I believe. Really, okay. Mm -hmm. My dad's nightmare. We'll just put it that it's a vibe. Yeah, it's a vibe. <laughs> it's a vibe. Mm -hmm. Super cool though. Super mm -hmm. duper cool. Mm -hmm. I liked it. And I liked Loris' attitude of like, everyone get the fuck out of my way because I'm going to win this shit. Mm -hmm. Hands down. A lot of them kind of had that attitude of like, I'm going to win this. That's you know fun. I mean? If that was me, I'd be like, I think, I'm, I, think I might do okay. I'm probably <laughs> going to lose. I'm probably going to lose. I pictured the skeleton producer that they sent. The producer that is made We'll call skeleton. him Mr. Bones. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bones mm -hmm. goes. Or, or Mrs. Bones. Or them bones. Them bones. <laughs> them bones. <laughs> Are you gonna win? Can you like excitedly talk about how you think you belong here? I do think it would be funny to see that interaction with Alexis though, where then Bones is like, we need a little bit more. And she's like, okay, well then yeah, I might, I might, I might do well. I might finish all my love. <laughs> I'm gonna be That's happy amazing. with what I do. I'll be happy it's over. Then we move on to one of the, one of the greatest loves of my life. I have to say Priscilla Chambers. I love Priscilla <gasps> Chambers. I'm so happy to see her back on our screen so soon. She's so country. So, so country. country. So endearing. Mm. Such white trash. I love so it. proud of it. And mm -hmm. getting to see her a little further along in her journey mm -hmm. as a trans woman, which she did get to talk about a little yes. bit. Her witch was inspired by her swampy, swampy trash ass. She is a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> she taxidermied her swamp ass. That, alligator head. that alligator head. Actual, on top, actual or crocodile. Alligator. What's a I what's think a Florida gator. 
Gator, you're right. You're Gator. Right. She came out of the swamp. She's Pulled so the hook gross. Pulled out of her mouth Love with her. the worm. Again, like the, the headpiece and the hair and the gross, like she kept drawing attention to her mouth was great. Mm -hmm. But like just like the, the wet skirt didn't do a lot for me, mm -hmm. but I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed love a it. wet skirt because it yeah. adds 10 to 15 pounds. Up next we had Saint. Formerly known as St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. She was an African moon bather. Mm. And she was making a lot of her own stuff out of things she'd get from the dollar store. Mm -hmm. Which is something that Vixen says a lot. Like mm -hmm. Vixen is very much into queens make things and she will take these, this paper and literally put it on RuPaul's Drag Race and we all fall to the floor because mm -hmm. it's so good. I enjoyed seeing that perspective again on TV because it's true. Mm -hmm. Because her ultimate look, could you tell that was stuff she made from the dollar store? No. no. Saint for this first round at least, had that bit of glamour that, I don't want to say I hadn't seen yet. I would say Loris was glamorous, but. It was light. It, it was. It, it was yeah. light, yeah. And I was like, ooh. Very pretty. beautiful and spooky Gorgeous. and witchy. Mm. Loved it. Her skin is exposed. She has beautiful tattoos. Gorgeous. Her skin is glowing in the moonlight. You're struck with the glamour of it and it does read very femme. But then as you really take it all in, you see the exposed skin, you see you know, a, a more androgynous type figure. And it's kind of witchy, kind of fucks it's with your witchy. mind. The perception, I loved it. Yeah. Gorge. Gorge, 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 gorge. And then finally, our last witch look, Victoria Elizabeth Black. Very talented. She lives in Orlando, which is just, it, to survive that alone, that's a superstar. That's a fight. She built sets for all of her looks. Mm -hmm. So that was exciting. She is a witch from the woods, is what I wrote. I'm sure she said it more eloquently. <laughs> <laughs> but woods. She was a witch in the woods. Gorge. The prosthetic nose. The contacts, the long fingers that she molded to mm -hmm. her fingers, loved. I mean, she built a set, y'all. She wanted to, I mean, we'll touch on it later. I, I don't necessarily know that she wanted to win. She wanted to show what she can do, and I, right. I believe she did that. Mm -hmm. Correct, correct. That was the end of Witches. What would your witch look be? Do you have one kind of in mind? And if you had a set, what would that include? Alphaba, and I would just sing Defying Gravity. Okay. And I don't mean to piggyback on Meatball's heels, because Meatball is very Alphaba right now. However, mm. I love Wicked. It's the first musical I saw. It's the first musical I auditioned for, and the first musical I got uh, uh, not cast in on Broadway. But I love it, and I love to sing it. You got something against Meatball? <laughs> No, I think that I'm makes sense. In. You're very much. I would you're do very much a Broadway girl. That makes a lot of sense. I would do mm. Alphaba. Yeah. Unless I change my mind. I would do You Baba. She's the witch from the movie Spirited Away, a yes. Studio Ghibli film. Yes, 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 yes. She is just so sickening to me. So, what so sickening to me. Do you have a set? Just very animated, cartoony. I would have the giant baby in the background, the three heads stacked. If you need uh, a giant baby. Big baby? I, well, I, so I've actually, it's, I've started volunteering. This is a fetish thing. It's, yeah, it's not, it's not good <laughs> what I'm about to share with you. I'm um, scared. My witch, I would be Kellyanne Conway. <laughs> And the set I would build would be her daughter's TikTok. <laughs> Ooh. That'd be good, right? Ooh. That is funny. Honestly, think Muff of a scarier person in real life. Than Muffy Kelly Fish Basket did do Kelly Ann Conway for Camp well, I would do it well. And on a show I didn't lose. <gasps> Muffy knows it's getting I warm in her. here. Muffy knows I love her. The second one was Ghost. So the Ghost Floor Show, again, Ooh. we get to know a few people a little more deeply. Up first we have Dolly. Dolly is giving us kind of like an elder wood. Oh, tree, tree ghost. Yes. This tree. was the, the one that ghost. said that their costume went all over the whole thing. Ooh. Oh, and they went into the detail about the shredding, which mm -hmm. was very interesting to mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Doing the box cutter along the fabrics and then ripping it open with their fingers. Okay, mm -hmm. a little hollow. Halloween hat for those at home trying yeah. to build a costume out of scratch. There you go, get a little box and she cutter. she did and mention, shirt, shirt. like, you know, you do the box cutter so it makes little tiny holes because if you make one big hole, it's too late. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we've all been, well, I mean, you are a big hole. Yeah, so you want to just make sure. That's true. Um, I'm going to the doctor for that. <laughs> so Dolly was a tree ghost. So again, like, she's very into, she lives in Arizona. They only have trees mm -hmm. and desert. We hear that she gave up on season two and that kind of, kind of becomes the focus of the rest mm -hmm. of her. Uh, uh, on this, where yeah. she kind of gave up. Dolly is also really great at narrating this episode. Do yeah. you agree? Agree. She had a really great talking head. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I would love to see her come back in some capacity. I get that, like, well, season four was not the place for her, but I think it. Well, you saw it. the ending, right? Yeah. 
the ending ending. Spoiler, where she goes. <gasps> she came back to life? <gasps> yeah, after she had like a stroke. Wait, wait, wait. She Can like we... woke back up. I like, didn't see that. That infers that she is welcomed back. Oh. And it's like the very last. Oh, I love that. Very That's exciting. exciting. Yes, Dolly's Elderwood look. I agree with, with the Boulet comment that said, this also looks kind of DIY, but in a bad way. Mm, okay. I, I wasn't her. floored I by it. Were you treated by it? <laughs> no. The lighting may have hurt it, maybe. Maybe. Oh, that's interesting to think about. The lighting and the videoing and how it works. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's it may interesting. Have, it may have made the DIY a little more obvious. Yeah. Because notice how there's no light really coming from the front. Mm -hmm. And is the look is red, right? Yeah, it's red. I think yeah. the look is red. Blood okay. tree. Well, you know what is obvious to me? Frankie June scuzz. <laughs> yes. Next. The way they explained it, La, La, La Llorona, inspired by Kim Kardashian's Met Ball, Met Gala look. Loved that, loved that detail. Loved mm -hmm. this. Yes. I loved this, this so much. Yes. So this ghost was a swamp ghost that would kidnap shitty kids. It never kidnapped Frankie, and Frankie was shocked. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I love that she brought in her heritage yeah. and honored a famous Mexican story. Swamp ghost. The swamp ghost, La Llorona, the crier. Mm -hmm. The cry, ooh. I really this liked this a lot. And I really like Frankie Beautiful. too. I Frankie is I such a Frankie. ball of good vibes and just knows herself yeah. so well. Frankie and Kendra really spoke to me. Yes. This, like, they, I, They're I, the fun fans. girls. Yeah, fun. They're very fun. Well, I want to hang out with them. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of Kendra Onyx, <gasps> up next we have Kendra Onyx's okay. ghost y look. Y'all. <gasps> was this, was, this was the okay. tool? Yeah. She's a fire performer. Mm -hmm. She used fire and there was a... Uh, there was a, I don't know the specifics. She was spitting fire and it ended up catching her face on fire. Something went wrong and it was in a bar, like in a club and no one really came to help her. Uh, well, except for her drag daughter. And I understand that because people probably weren't exactly sure, but it's confusing. They showed the clip on Dragula Resurrection and yeah. if you haven't watched it yet, just trigger warning, it trigger is warning. terrifying. It is very and, But the thing is, this was not that long ago and we had already mm -hmm. seen half the episode go by. You can't tell, she is healing so beautifully and even yes. if she wasn't, that doesn't, that's not the point. Her spirit is still Her spirit so is strong. still so strong and the fact that she went back to fire for this ghost look, Incredible. Good for her. Incredible. Oh my goodness, so inspirational. Incredible. The dress was such a great idea, <sighs> so gorgeous. And back to just a maker's moment, so fun to think of black tool with the paint, the UV paint. Mm -hmm. I would have never thought about that because mm -hmm. she told us the black tool would disappear in the UV light and it would look like smoke all around her. Mm -hmm. Such a cool thing. So Very smart, smart so idea. Smart. Up next we have Loris, a half and half look. Another latex. Another latex look. Wait, let's get into the shocker here. Okay, did you expect to see Honey Depp no, on your screen? <laughs> no, I didn't. Did you expect to see a little love story? I said, to quote someone, what is going on here on What's this day? What's going on here on this day? I, I loved it. It was really <laughs> sweet. I, it. I mean, really I love love. I want people to find love and have sex with each other consensually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's great. So she was mm. doing, her. hers was that she was a ghost and it was a tribute, but it was kind of a double. One side was the person who struggles with the, the suicidal thoughts and the other side was the like, kind of the ghost demon of mm. that, that haunts you. This is where I got distracted by how well this is made, how cute it is. The, mm -hmm. the girl side is cute. The demon side is amazing. How incredible the skill it takes to do that, mm -hmm. that Loris explained, mm -hmm. and how cool Loris looks. Mm -hmm. As I said, this is my favorite. And then afterward I said, wait, 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 how is that ghost? I got distracted a little bit and I ultimately do agree with the judges that it didn't give me ghost per se, but I did really like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. If she was on Drag Race Holland, they would have liked it. Yeah, for the half and half. They for sure. Half and half. They want one line down the middle. Yeah. 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 I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But super cool. I mean, super fucking cool. And Honey Davenport just wandering into Dragula. <laughs> I'm in. Season so four. Adorable. Season four, Honey Davenport. You got it. You got it. Then we had our girl, Priscilla Chambers. This particular look was met with a lot of controversy mm -hmm. in the social medias. Yeah. You know, she is living out and proud as a trans woman and a, a big issue that, that trans sex workers face is murder. 
and harm, physical harm. So hers was like the ghost of a trans sex worker. People online said it was an interesting thing to say, hey, I want to honor the, the trans sex workers who have been murdered by dressing up as their ghost. There weren't a lot of people who were on board with it on social media. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a lot of talk. I do know someone who I follow on Twitter that is a sex worker said, don't dress up like a dead sex worker. Yeah. And for me, that's kind of the end of it, but I understand the message and I appreciate the message. But that also, I have to say, you know, she is a trans woman. I don't know that this was a completely removed, mm -hmm. um, I but guess. But is that how you pay tribute to them? You well, dress but, up no, as No, but what I'm goals? saying is maybe that's a conversation between trans people and trans sex workers yeah. to have. Like, you know, yeah. us watching it on TV and us seeing like a, a the, comment from a trans comment. sex worker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that doesn't involve us. Yeah. You know what I mean? It doesn't involve us. And, and this is a conversation. I mean, it started a conversation. So we'll, mm -hmm. uh, that's to say for it. Her intent and her impact. That, Int intent versus impact. Yeah. And, and the, her uh -huh. impact uh -huh. is between her, a trans woman, and the other trans woman in her life. But she looked gorgeous. Can I say that? Yeah. And I love an 80s moment. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Up next, the... Stand out, I think, of all of the looks ever on Dragula. Saint. Mm -hmm. <gasps> this, this was, was stellar. cool. She stellar. Had a classic sheet ghost and made it terrifying. Terrifying. Ooh, teeth, eyes, mm -hmm. the face um, laced, like doily. It was really cool. crazy. Every time I have seen a picture, come across a picture of it on social media, I have to stop and stare at it for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, this is relatively new, but it's been a couple days. And the, the dripping blood, but that were jewels, so fucking cool. I remember cool. when she was sitting in her workroom and she kind of, she held up the mask and it looked like a paper plate she glued a doily to. I was kind of like, oh no, oh no, what's gonna happen with this? Well, you just said it. And then, it. boom. You just said it five seconds ago. The Vixen takes things that they get for not a lot of money and turns them into cool, amazing art. That's this. This is high art, Mama. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. Incredible. And this, not only that, it's like uh, iconic. I think it's going to go down. It is. It iconic. is. Iconic. History. There's like fan art about it. Did you see her post that? Really cute. <gasps> really cute. Excuse me. I love it. Speaking yeah. of really acute, Victoria Elizabeth Black is next. Her ghost was kind of a twist on her top three from season two moment when she was above the cadaver and she was doing like reverse cowgirl or just regular cowgirl. She was the ghost of the cadaver. The bullies didn't quite get it, but I do think this was very haunting of Hill House like creepy ghosts. Mm -hmm. The prosthetic was amazing. Yes. She turned her garage into a morgue. Yes. The set was amazing. The performance was amazing. She was a zombie. That was but a zombie. some zombies are gross. I mean... That was a zombie. You can see her organs. Ghosts don't have organs. Sometimes they do. Well, I would love it if, like, perhaps there was some sort of ethereal or some sort of... See-throughness. Yeah, it was just, it was very, it, it, it looked like the cadaver just got up and was walking towards you. Mm. If we're going to be picky on ghosts like we were with Loris, I think we need to be picky here too. I'm going to be picky. I'm going to pick those intestines right out of her. The back of your throat. The skill is Tiebreaker. so high, high that I don't, I don't care what the category is. This is like a major shoot. I don't know any other queen that can do something like this. Well, I can do it. Do it right now. Take your spleen out. <laughs> Let me see that spleen. We also learned that she has acute Asperger's or she's acutely yeah. Aspergian. Now, I don't know that that's technically the term that we use anymore. I don't know that Asperger's is what we use anymore. I think autism spectrum disorder mm. is now- Kind of encompasses it. Kind of, yeah, I don't think that Asperger's, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, and I know you will. <laughs> okay. I'm glad that we stood up and stretched. After yeah, those. yeah, yeah. We really needed it. Yes, and yes, our yes. final category is vampire. Have any of you ever had your blood sucked? No, but I used to be so obsessed with vampires. I wanted them to be real. I wanted them to come take me away. And suck your blood. I wanted mm. Brad Pitt, L uh, Louis to come, and I wanted to be <coughs> Kirsten Dunst and dress up in beautiful clothes. And Well, she was a child. Which is inappropriate now, but I was her age. Brad Pitt, that's not in Twilight. It was in, in He's not in Twilight. Interview with the Vampire, have you seen that? Oh, oh, oh that's what you're Interview talking about. Interview with no, Twilight. It's Interview with Twilight. Okay, let's get into these vampire looks. Up first, we have Dolly. Dolly is giving us like a little cave. 
Yeah, wasteland cave dweller. Cave dweller. Yes. Yeah, so very mm. like post apocalyptic. Mad Max. Apocalyptic. Mad Max. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very Arizona. Mm -hmm. Loved. Probably my favorite thing Dolly did all night. Yeah. Yeah, I really liked how the set was pushing this performance too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, really so we liked. should say the vampire, this is the one where they all had to perform that. Was it Kim Petras? Kim Petras. I loved the the nose on this particular look. I just think in general, we really got to see Dolly bring it all, all together. All the way. Up next, we have Frankie Doom. Frankie Doom was the, titty, was the bat. Titty yeah, bat. bat creature. Ancient first vampire bat creature. Yeah, with the cool, amazing glove wings, the uh -huh. big floppy titties, the 80s kind of, what yes. was the what was the comparison? They Was it like She-Ra hair, gargoyle, Something like that. 80s? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. It was really cool. It's a fun performance. So good. It just made you want to see so more Frankie. So yeah. Like overall, every single look, I want to mm -hmm. know more about Frankie. Honey, at the beginning, his her their name was Frankie Doom. At the end, it was Frankie Doomy. Oh. Yeah. Or at the beginning, ding, ding, her ding. name was Frankie Doom. At the end, her name was Frankie. Do you have anything? Do you have? Do you have anything else I can see? Just let her have this one. I know. <laughs> Just let her have this one. After Frankie, we have Kendra Onyx. And Kendra was on it with this vampire oh, look. Okay. Because she told a story. She uh, had the glamour down. She had slime under her. Slime in, slime the, in ice the ice machine. machine. Slime in the ice machine. <laughs> Eyewitness news. Marvin Zuba. She had said that this look was inspired by the fact when she started drag, it was all about high glamour. So mm. she wanted a high glamour look that kind of went into the dirty, uh, naked vampire that she is today. Yeah. And that's why when she took off her wig, there was slime in the ice machine. Slime in the I ice machine. That. And I do want to say, shout out to the set. The set gave me Dorian <laughs> Gray. The set, the set design for her number Gorge. was incredible. I believe, was that a Shays? Shays Lounge. I loved it. So good. Kendra Onyx. Kendra Onyx. Up next we had Loris. Loris' set was Kind of like the the train, the train yard, the train mm -hmm. yard. Mm -hmm. She the gave train. us like metal queen. Um, she was a viral vampire. She said she was COVID inspired. COVID inspired. Which, uh, when you're talking about vampires, let's definitely talk about a pandemic because that, that is hilarious. Hello. She also wanted to showcase her. What is that called? Buzzsaw. I know some performers. Tim the Toolman. Bus saw. That spark. Grinding, 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 grinding. grinding. It's when they take a, a saw and they literally grind it on a piece of metal that they're wearing. I know some performers in Chicago that do it and it is amazing. It mm -hmm. is so scary to me how they can get it. It's like literally mm -hmm. flames uh, it shooting it. I know, right? It's flames. so hot. hot. Um, One thing though, really that hot. I thought was interesting that the Boulay said that obviously we didn't see during the performance was mm -hmm. that her recording this performance was pretty tough that she kept calling cut and she was, was just kind of all over the place. Yeah, mm -hmm. I I thought that was interesting that they brought that into the judgment. It is interesting and for me, my first thought was like, oh, kind of shady to mention that, but it also was like, oh, they're watching everything. That makes yeah. me feel good that they really took Observed this seriously. Observed the entire process. And not just kind of showed up and mm -hmm. filmed. Then we move into our gorgeous, beautiful queen, Priscilla. She was doing kind of a nude, see-through, bejeweled kind of blood thing. It read very Louisiana Purchase in my mind. Oh. It very much reminded me of oh, that. Yeah. It's like, did you really remind True. me of Priscilla? Priscilla's never really... But, but I, I got a couple messages from that. Number one, Priscilla is now feeling more herself and feeling more comfortable in her oh, own body. Gorge. And let's be honest, she looks great. Can mm -hmm. I have that Those body? Days? Are you good? Mm -hmm. She looks great. So I, I think she was trying for something that perhaps we aren't used to seeing from her. Did it pay off ultimately as a performance? No. It gave me True Blood vibes, but not True Blood HBO, True Blood like TNT. Mm -hmm. Oh, TNT. Up next we have Saint giving us psychedelic 60s. I'm gonna take a trip with a little drop of blur. Would you ever, ever think no. I'm going on Dragula and I'm gonna do a cutesy 60s inspired look? That, I mean, the way that it went from idea to finished product. Yeah. With the this full is set. a mind. This is a mind. I don't mind if I do. 
Mm -hmm. That's a mind. This is the glamour and the glamour mind. and the filth and the horror. This is the glamour. Glamour, yeah. filth, horror, story. All, story all, of, all of Saint's looks told a story. Mm -hmm. And what I thought was so funny was that she's, you know, talking about this look. She's showing us the drawing. They show her painting the set. And then we also see in her talking head, like out of drag, she's wearing a hat that she designed with the same blood the droplets. Reason, on the reason the four leaf clover with the blood drop. So good. The detail, the connecting, amount of detail. Connecting, connecting, I mean, connecting, uh, connecting. I hope I can aspire to be and that someday. We also got to know even more about her, and we got a rather like disturbing look into her past, which was that her first tattoos was when she was 11 and a half years old, and it was her stepfather who mm. forced her to get his initials on her wrists, mm. and that kind of started her tattoo. Uh, journey journey and you know so from 12 to now it was heartbreaking but it was also mm -hmm. really cool to see the power she feels in her skin now and yeah and the beauty of, of taking something that could have been mm -hmm. uh, and, and kind of flipping it into something that she could gain control of and now mm -hmm. she's covered in beautiful artwork mm -hmm. yeah. She also, on her season, went home as a vampire. It was during the vampire challenge. Oh, yeah. So that was... Home. So this was a big... This meant a lot to her. Redemption. She, she was redeemed. Mm -hmm. Out of the park. She nailed it. She took a nail in the coffin that she laid in, and she nailed it out of the park. Mm -hmm. Ding, ding, ding. We also get her experience as a black person in 2020, experiencing the movement, the change, yeah. the Black Lives Matter very important, brought me to tears because yeah. she was talking about how it has personally impacted her and how her drag means so much to her as well. It was riveting. I was hey. like, yeah, you, you are meant to do drag. This is how you get out your message as an artist. And you see how like full circle she has come mm. where she has overcame her, I don't wanna say insecurities, but uh, she came over things that were holding her back. She honestly, she said out loud in the special what we actually saw from her, which was that she was in her head, she was terrified, she did not know what she was doing. And how many people and do then, we see on oh. these shows experience that? It's but, a it's a completely un But it's rare that we see the power come back so hard like this. Like yeah. I mean, that is that's a redemption. Mm -hmm. Speaking of a power comeback, last but not least is Victoria Elizabeth Black. Her vampire is this kind of Victorian. Elizabethan, Victorian, yeah. very much her vibe. She had a coffin. She had a story. Oh my goodness. The wig was incredible. Oh my goodness. The look was incredible. The set was very complimentary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she does a lot of work for Orlando theme parks, mm -hmm. you know, decorating in kind of the horror field. And that's, that's super cool. And you can see that in the work. This was the part of the show where we heard from her where she doesn't want to be on season four, mm -hmm. where she shared that she got so far in her season, she doesn't feel like it would be a challenge. And she just really wants to use this opportunity to showcase what she can do. And I said it earlier, I'm going to say it again. She did. She did. I didn't love that. From a very mm -hmm. uh, rule following person, I didn't love that you took that opportunity from so many other monsters and uglies, ugly monsters. Mm -hmm. And so that you could show people, yeah, everyone wants to show that, but like you would have begrudgingly accepted the prize. I didn't care for that. Well, I think it's good that she said it. I would rather hear it now in this situation where she's still utilizing this opportunity to its full potential, but not getting mm -hmm. on season four and saying, I'm I, better than everybody I'd else. I'd rather hear it when the producers called and said, hey, are you interested in doing this competition to get on season four? I'd rather have heard it then. Hmm. But I think I don't begrudge her the opportunity to show her growth and her skill. Mm -hmm. And she may have been in on it. Like the producers may have been like, oh, well, you're not interested in season four. Well, we are kind of, we want to build the the tension of perhaps we're going to do an all star. So mm -hmm. maybe well, she was in on it. Well, I'll tell you what. Even if she was, even if she was vying for that spot, I think the person that won would have gotten it anyways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They obviously cannot deny her talent, her skill. No, the no skill one can. is there, Mama. Um, and I think she does have every right to be as. I don't want to say arrogant, but as like, she can boast all she wants because she does have it. 
and no one is doing what she can do. Mm -hmm. And her but, grandfather owned a haunted house. And her grandpa owned a haunted house. I think them casting her is kind of showcasing Dragula's ability to find talent. Mm. Because this is probably one of the most talented people they've You're ever right. had on okay. their show. Right. And they wanted to be like, okay, well, this is what we also found. Remember, remember why we are that casting agency, because we found this gem and now she's like running a whole ass circuit in mm. Florida where she's spreading her horror and she was uh, and the creativity. and she was the intro to the house of black dahlia was on the season mm -hmm. after her we had our feelings on dahlia but jesus christ by the end of that season there was no denying how incredible how dahlia is. is yeah that family the whole house of black whole, yeah the last time la had a drag con the house of black came in and they were all in like these amazing it was just like oh. a, it was just a crazy moment of like Oh damn, that's a house right, of move black. Out the like, way. Everyone mm -hmm. stops. Right. Move out the way. Move out the way. Here they all come. Incredible. The talent and the skill. Bow undeniable. I'd like to keep my soul. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Those were the looks. Overall, such an incredible special. And then we get to see even more looks because the Belays walk out. <gasps> They've had little slit throats at the start. Like, oh. This was giant and they had the big horns. Oh, yeah. How amazing did they look? The belays are leveling up. Yeah. Leveling up and they were already really fucking cool to look at. They are cool. They're very excited to be doing this. As Jeff Goldblum says in Jurassic Park 1, which Darby has yet to see. Yeah, I still haven't seen it. Life and drag finds a way. Mm. Mm. Broadway's gonna be closed for three more years, but drag mama, we're thriving. Yes. So the thriving and dying Boulay brothers came in looking gorgeous and they reviewed the footage, they talked about everything, and then they sent out packages. Now this was very The Ring. Is that what you got from mm -hmm. it? Because they all got VHS, VHS tapes. VHS tapes, watch your tape. And I was yeah. like, do they also send them VCRs? I Hello, I said the same thing out loud too. I was like, what is this? Yeah, I, I recently got a VHS converter, so I've been converting a lot of old videos of my childhood. We Wait, watched me singing No More Drama. I have a VCR. And my, no, I, what? I forgot, it's in my closet. I'll bring it. Oh, really? For youngsters who don't know what VCR is, VCR stands for Victoria Crown Molden uh, Randrews, and she was a <laughs> author. <laughs> Randrews? She was an author who wrote this beautiful book called Flowers in the Attic. It's a beautiful but tale about it, love. She wrote it in little frames, like one frame after mm -hmm. another. And you mm -hmm. stick, and you stick uh, VHS tapes. VHS in tapes are asshole. like CDs, but thicker. But for your butt. And you, you put them on. In your butt. You put them in, you give them to her. And she tells you, she goes like this. And then she goes and like she tells this, because you. she puts it in your butt. Yeah. Explain what that was about. Did you not love seeing them get exterminated one last time? It was kind of fun. Yeah. It, was fun so it took me a while to catch on with, oh yeah, this is how they get, yeah. this is how they say who's So coming. everyone starts dying and it was so fun to see, you know, death in this day and age. Everyone dies except for- Spoiler one. alert if you're watching. Saint. 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 They all like, Ugh, but Saint stays alive. And, and she smiles. And then as you revealed, which we didn't see. Bonus feature at the Eagle very eye. end. Eagle eye. There was a Marvel-esque scene after the credits. Dolly wakes up. Dolly wakes up. Maybe she's the new, because you know they always have that guy walk in with dirt squirrels. Israel? Squirrel with, yeah, maybe she's the new Israel. She's she the new Israel. With, she has a bunch of dirt squirrels. Girl, no, she's their she's their storyline producer now. She uh, does such a good job. They're like, you know what? No, you stay right here because she's you did a, a really good job at narrating this. Uh -huh. May I say, I know we don't have to compare franchises because both can exist. Why not? Well, but let me just it. say, you don't need to force a storyline. You don't need complex, crazy white men writers to write a story for gay people because gay people already have interesting stories to tell. Oh, yeah. You, and we want to hear them. You go straight to their home. You see what their life is about and you see what they combat, their trauma, what they're working over, and they use their artistry to grow from it. And that's really like the theme that I was seeing with like this entire show was like, okay, these are people that come from like some experiences that break them or that's given them trauma or they live with fear because of like a certain experience. Mm -hmm. And then they overcome it with a drag with persona, art. something yeah. that just like pushes them out of their own boundaries and just surprises themselves. And it was just really beautiful to see these queer people do do their thing. And if you would love to, because we, we do that amongst ourselves, if you would love to hear our trauma and hear how we overcome, we often <laughs> or how say we come. those things. <laughs> 
but we only keep them in for Patreon. <laughs> so, so if you're a patron, <laughs> you get early access and you get to see all the stuff that we cut out for everyone else. We also have a podcast where we get really dark. A weekly podcast where we dive about politics and it was so it was it's dark, dark and it's deep dark. into the water. We learned but, that we're not informed. But yeah. you texted us saying us that you were smiling the whole time. You love no, us together. No, that was I was talking about Holland. I was not smiling during the podcast. Oh, oh the okay. podcast was bad. Should we not? It's not do bad. It? It's just. It's personal things that only patrons get to see. <laughs> okay, so if you want to join our Patreon, to that it is worth it. We Patreon.com forward slash I make sure the show. Well, ladies, I cannot wait for season four. More importantly, yeah. I cannot wait for Reddit to ruin it for me. We can't wait to see, I guess, Shudder giving us this content. Can you lead us out, Chan, in mm -hmm. the most Dragula way possible? Wait, I was thinking, can we also do exterminations? Just like a little quick something for each of us? Oh. I would literally murder you right now for free. <laughs> well, I mean, let's see the extermination. Goodbye, ugly. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Oh. There's one down. Well, between us two. I there's only one ugly left. And it's JP! <laughs> 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 JP, it's okay. JP, you win. JP, come to save all of us. Yeah, she wants to be on camera. Get him out of this ugly. Here's your baby. Oh, you're so spooky. Oh, Jay Boulay. You're so okay, bye. spooky. Bye. Oh. Oh, Benica, 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 huh? Benica. I'm so glad oh. we did this. Not yeah, VH1. that was fun. I'm sorry I talked too much, but I think it was not. I think we all talked the perfect amount.